So if you use templates, whether it's a template that you purchase from time-saving templates, or maybe you have your own template that you've created for something specific, and you have to reset your template each year, meaning that you have to delete things that were entered for one year and you need to reset that to work for the next year, I'm going to show you in this video a very fast way to delete everything except for formulas. So a lot of the questions that we get here at Time Saving Templates is related to when, thing, when you purchase a template and then you accidentally delete a cell with a formula. I used to protect the cells with formulas. However, people want the flexibility to make their own changes. So with the unprotected versions of the templates, you can accidentally delete a cell with a formula. But there is a way that I'm gonna show you that is going to make it super easy. I am going to start with the landlord template with receipts. You'll see there's a lot of tabs. I just have sample data here on the first tab. This one is for oof, up to 30 properties. What happens is it's for use to show the annual totals per year and then you start over with the template the next year and you don't have to pay for that either. You just pay for this one time and you can use it every year. That's the benefit of having an Excel template. So I typically, in my templates, I typically have the formulas color coded gray. If it's white or green, you can enter the information. But if you see here, I also have hidden formulas that could easily be deleted. If you just highlight everything and click delete, then these formulas would get deleted and then it's not going to work for the next year. One way of doing that is just highlight one section at a time and delete it and then go to the next section and delete. But if you want to avoid all that and just delete everything that doesn't contain a formula, I guess you don't want to delete the headers. So you need to figure out how to highlight your data. I don't want to delete the months, although I guess it's not that hard to add back. So for this example, I would highlight, say I highlight everything here. Okay. So you're going to highlight all the data that you're wanting to reset everything except for formulas. And you're going to press function and F5. If depending on your keyboard, it could be control F5, it could be just F5. So try a couple of those if you don't get it at first. And then you're gonna get this pop-up go to and you're gonna click special. So go to and then the special box here at the bottom. And then this is telling it what cells to highlight. So we're gonna click on constants and you see that highlights everything except for formulas there. I, you know, there's other things you could do here, deleting conditional formatting, deleting data validation lists. If you have drop, a bunch of drop down lists you want to delete all at once, there's more you can do with this, but we're going to do constants for this and click OK. And now it's highlighting everything that is not a formula that I have entered. Now see, it's highlighting my months and my categories. So I may want to select my data different if I don't want to delete that, um, but it's highlighting um, both sections. And then from there, without clicking anything else, I'm just going to click delete. And then there you go. I've deleted everything, but I've kept all the formulas that I need to start over. At that point, I would do a file save as and give the file a new name. So if you're starting over with a new year, I would do, you know, just add the date for the year 2024 or 2025, just as an example. I don't want you to delete your information for one year and save it, then you'll lose all your data. So don't do that. I'm gonna do it one more time on another template. We have the variable compensation bonus template, which can also be used year over year you know, you may have exceptions, all these gray cells are formulas, but you may have an exception where you type over a formula because for whatever reason, they were a new hire, but you didn't want to penalize them for that. So you, you end up typing over a formula. Let's just say, for example, we 
change their final bonus and we'll see what happens. So there's a lot of formulas in here. The yellow is something we entered and then over here is all entries. So we would just highlight everything, go to function, function F5, special, constants, okay, delete. And then there you'll see, now I can see also that although I have a formula here in the performance rating category, for a group of people, I wrote over that formula. So this can also help with auditing if you are, if you're writing over formulas in, in a lot of data, and but you don't can't tell which ones. This can help to to find those needle in a haystack problems. Yeah, with the actual bonus, it looks like a few of these cells the formula was written over. In those cases, I would just take the formula below and drag it. At least with the time-saving templates, everything's set up to be able to drag up and down so the formula will still, it will follow the row that it needs to. And, and that's how you delete information all at once, but you don't have to worry that you're going to accidentally delete those formulas. Let me try something else. Say that I'm trying to determine in this column which numbers have been written over. Let me go to function F5, special, constants. Okay, now it's going to select the ones for me. And then if I really want those to stand out so I can review it further, maybe I'll highlight them yellow. Then I can tell, okay, these are the cells in this column that are missing a formula. So this would be a good way of auditing. And then you can filter by the ones that you highlighted. I'm definitely going to be using this more often when I'm auditing files or having to reset information. So both of these templates that I showed you, one is a variable compensation template, which has different tabs and pages. They're all kind of linked together. I'll link to the video that shows how to use this template. The other one I was going over was the landlord template. If you have rental properties, I'll link to the video on that one. And both are listed on the website. If you go to timesavingtemplates.com and either click on HR, rental properties, or small business worksheets. We have many different options to look at there. And we also have some free resources for you. If you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources, we've got a free guide to get you started with Excel. And then we also have, depending on if you're looking at using templates in the HR or compensation departments or for your rental properties, or you have a small business, we have the templates already created for you in each of these areas to really help you save time. So until next time, don't forget, I am here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel spreadsheets. Thanks.